Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bet you're glad it's Thursday. Just, you know, you're almost there. One day closer to Friday. Um, there's NFL football on tonight. There's huge news for the Orioles. I want to jump right into it today. We're going to talk about the Orioles first. Um, Ryan Mountcastle suffered some type of unknown shoulder injury last night. Uh, Rock Kabaka reported that there was a pop in his shoulder. Um, that's not good. He's been a huge contributor to this team this season when he's been healthy. I know he had the bout with vertigo, but ever since he's come back from that, he's been raking the baseball. So to have Mountcastle possibly miss the rest of the season, um, just the thought of that is scary. Now, thankfully, they have Ryan O'Hearn, but they just caught up one of their top prospects, Heston Kerstad. Um, Kerstad has absolutely demolished AA and AAA this season. Um, He's been a fantastic, fantastic minor league player. Um, he can, He's a right fielder, but I'm pretty sure he can play first base. I mean, he's got the body type to do it. I'm sure he could fill in there. And if they need to, they could get an injury designation to carry him into the postseason. Um, it would be huge. Well, you know what? I'm not 100% positive on that because he wasn't on the 40-man roster. Um, baseball is really weird. Like, the way that they... if they decide like you can carry a player on like I know they can't carry Jorge Lopez into the postseason because he wasn't on the roster or in the organization before September 1st he joined September 2nd um Heston Kersad was in the organization but he wasn't on the 40-man roster so I guess I'm not completely clear on that but I feel like that's happened before um Adalberto Mondesi made his major league debut in the World Series um he's the only player to ever do that he did it for the Royals um, so I feel like, you know, maybe Kerstad, they could get some type of injury designation and carry him into the postseason. I feel like that that's possible. Um, it should be really interesting to see him play, regardless of whether he's on the postseason roster or not, see him play these last two weeks for the Orioles, see what type of contribution he can bring. Because honestly, if he hits like Kowser did, they probably won't want to carry him into the postseason. That's no diss on Kowser. He just started off really slow in his um, major league career at the major league level. Um, if Kerstad does something similar, I doubt that they'd want to carry him into the postseason. But if he's raking like Westberg or if he, you know, has some pop in his bat and he's driving some over the wall, <coughs> excuse me, I don't see why they wouldn't want to carry him into October with them. So, especially if Mountcastle's hurt. Like that, in that scenario, like if Mountcastle's okay, which let's be honest, I don't think he's going to be, um, it would be huge if they could bring Kerstad into October with them. So that's something to keep an eye on for sure. Um, tonight's game, boy, the Rays won yesterday. The Orioles dropped a heartbreaker to the Cardinals. I'm um, a one nothing game. Drew Rahm showed why, you know, he's a great pitcher. Um, he wanted to show the Orioles up for trading him. I honestly don't blame him. Um, he came out, pitched his absolute ass off. Um, Kyle Gibson threw a really good game, but, you know, it was a one nothing finish. Uh, the Gunner triple at the end of the game gave us all a little bit of false hope. But, you know, Aaron Hicks couldn't get the job done in the last bat of the game. The Orioles lose one to nothing. Uh, it was a frustrating series. After winning the first game of that series and, a, you know, a comeback, um, they couldn't get it done the next two nights. But whatever, wash it. Um, they still have a two-game lead in the division. They're playing the Rays four games starting tonight. Um, look, all week I overlooked the Cardinal series looking towards the Rays. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what the team did as well. Um, they know that this series right here is going to decide the AL East pretty much. Um, it, there's a very good chance that the AL East is decided in this four-game series. Who's going to win it and who's going to get the wild card? Um, the Orioles, they only need to win one of these games to get the season series, therefore get the tiebreaker against the Rays. But they don't want to lose three out of four. I'm telling you that right here and right now. So, I mean, as long as the Orioles win two games out of this series, stay at least two games up on Tampa Bay, um, then they would have the tiebreaker on them as well. I feel like, you know, that's that's a decent outcome. Uh, obviously, you know, asking for three out of four would be great, but Tampa Bay's a great team. So it's not going to be easy to do. Um, tonight we got Kyle Bradish versus Aaron Savelli on the Rays. They got him at the trade deadline from Cleveland. 
Um, he's a really good pitcher who's having a really good season, and so is Kyle Bradish. I mean, it should be a great pitching matchup. They're on Fox tonight. They're not going to be on Masson. I think it's a nationally televised game. So um, definitely something to look into. I mean, it's two of the best teams in the entire American League clashing against each other. Um, it should be really, really good uh, baseball for sure. You know, we also have Thursday Night Football tonight. Um, I won't be watching the whole game, obviously. I'll be watching the Orioles. Um, it's been a great season for them. I'm not going to miss a game for a team that's not even my team to watch. But I will be tuning in for the end of this one. It's a pretty interesting matchup. We got the Vikings at the Eagles at the Link in Philly. Um, honestly, I thought the Eagles have dominated this a lot more than they actually have, to be completely honest. Um... Philadelphia versus Minnesota all time. The Eagles are 11 and 15 against them in the regular season. However, they're 4 and 0 in the postseason. That has to be the reason why I'm, I think the Eagles dominate the Vikings in my head. Um, they beat them 24 to 7 last season. I believe that game was on Thursday Night Football too, and it might have even been Week Two. Um, the two games before that, however, the Vikings won I think like 23 to 21 and 38 to 20. Okay, so which is like, I guess I don't really remember that. Now that I'm saying it, I think I remember that because the, the Eagles won the NFC Championship 38-7, to the year that the Eagles went on to win the Super Bowl. I think most of us remember that. It was the Nick Foles-Case Keenum game. Um, the next time that they played each other, the Vikings beat them 38-20. to So now that I'm thinking about it, I do remember that, but it doesn't seem like... I don't know, I just feel like the Eagles own that head-to-head, -head, even though in the regular season, they have a losing record against the Vikings. I mean, it's it's weird. It's a weird matchup, honestly, historically. Um, because, you know, they're 11-15, and 15, and then they got the 4-0 postseason record against them. I mean, that's, that's just kind of odd, honestly. But, you know, Jalen Hurts versus Kirk Cousins, this Eagles team, I know they've had some changes and everything. But overall, I mean... Seems like they're run the same. Um, they kind of underwhelmed last week against New England. But Darius Slay, his pick six ended up being the game winner, uh, in my opinion. You know, the defense won him that game. Um, the Vikings had a really harsh loss to the Buccaneers week one. Do you think the Vikings are going to go into the link and beat the Eagles? Uh, both teams kind of underwhelmed, but the Eagles are at home. And Jalen Hurts is a much better quarterback than Kirk Cousins. I love Kirk Cousins, and it hurts to say this, but... He's really not that good. Um, he's 12-20 and 20 in primetime in his career. 8-10 and 10 in the games with the Vikings on primetime. Um, he's just not it. I mean, he's only 1-3 in the postseason in his career. Um, Jalen Hurts crushed that number just last season. Um, I know the Eagles have a better like roster assembled around him and everything, but I don't know. Um, I don't think it's going to be a good night for Cousins. Uh, if you have Justin Jefferson on your fantasy team... It's probably not going to be his best output of the season. Um, he did not do well against the Eagles last year, and the Eagles have very similar secondary. I know C.J. Gardner-Johnson's in Detroit now, but I'm talking about Darius Slay. Big play Slay is going to be on Justin Jefferson. I think it's going to be a tough night for the Vikings. Um, Kirk could prove me wrong, but I'm kind of doubting it right now. Um, I feel like Jalen Hurts he didn't have his best game last week. I look for him to go crazy tonight on Thursday Night Football. Um... It should be a really, really interesting game. Now, I do want to talk about one more thing, and it's still a ways off, but I found this to be so interesting that I had to bring it up. Um, October 1st, the Falcons are going to play the Jaguars in London, right? Uh, the Jaguars play in London every season. Um, they're kind of like England's team or whatever. Weird, right? But they don't even call them the Jaguars either. They call them the Jaguar. I can't even say it the way a British person would say it. Uh, no offense to any British people. It's just, you know, you say Jaguar wrong. Um, anyways, the Falcons are going to be playing in London against the Jaguars um, October 1st. They're doing this thing where it's like a Toy Story play of the game. And it's like, you can watch the game as if they were toys. And it's like happening in real time so like everything that happens in the actual game the animations are going to be like doing the same thing and like they're going to be playing on like a carpet in Andy's room like in Toy Story 
and all the characters from the movie are going to be in the crowd. So it's like, I, I saw like uh, an animation for it and it was like toy Trevor Lawrence throwing a pass. Like it was really, really odd. And I know they do those weird Nickelodeon games and stuff now for the NFL where they have like slime coming out of the end zone and stuff. But this is taking it to another level. Um, they're obviously trying to appeal to young people, which is cool and everything. But they should appeal to them with like, I don't know, things that actually have to do with the sport and not just like randomly tying in Toy Story or Slime Time Nickelodeon. Like, I don't know, maybe like when Justin Jefferson, just, you know, for an example, or, you know, Lamar Jackson makes like a highlight run, maybe like have some flames coming off of his feet or something and make it look like he's cutting like Superman or something. Like, I don't know. They could do something cool like that to make it pop more to like young people, I guess. I think it's weird with all the cartoon stuff, but, you know, I'm not the one calling the shots at the NFL or Nickelodeon or whatever partnership they have. So, like, I don't know. I just think it was, I think it's weird. Um, it's definitely going to be something that I'm not going to watch it like that. Um, I'll be up watching that game. I mean, the London games are at 930 in the morning here on the East Coast. I'll definitely be up watching it. Um... I will not be watching it in Toy Story form. <laughs> um, it will definitely be weird, though. I will have to check it out on Twitter or something. That's all I really got for today. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches these videos. You all are awesome. Um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We'll talk about the outcome of Thursday Night Football tomorrow. We will talk about what happened in the Orioles game. Um, look ahead to the Orioles series. This weekend versus Tampa, the weekend games of the series and Friday night and everything, and we will dig deep into that Ravens-Bengals matchup. Tomorrow is going to be Baltimore-centric, and I hope you all are here for it. Peace out. I hope you all have a great day, and be sure to hit that subscribe button.